Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be testing out a, another peeling foot mask, this time from Procol. So they kindly gifted this to me and I know I said in my last peeling foot mask from Poundland that I vowed never to do another one again because quite frankly for me it was a complete disaster. I'd never done one before so it was all new to me but my feet were peeling for ages after I mean longer than it said on the packaging but I did get a few really good tips and feedback from you guys who did watch that video and if you haven't watched that then I'll link it down below if you want to go and check it out so when I was sent this one from Proco I didn't have much faith in trying another one so I just actually put it in a drawer away and thought maybe I'll try it in the near future anyway every time I looked at it I thought you know what this may be a little bit different because it's a bit more of a premium foot mask it's a bit more expensive it's still affordable but obviously it's a bit more money than the Poundland one that wasn't actually exclusive to Poundland that other one I had seen it in home bargains and I want to say savers as well but this Procol one is also made in Korea and I thought now we're getting it into the winter months I may as well just give it a go and see if it restores my faith in foot peeling masks and if it didn't work then at least I could just cover up my feet with socks because we are getting into the winter months so what I'm gonna do now is of course show you the demo and an update it has been over a month since I used this foot peeling mask so without further ado let's get right into the demo and explaining a bit about this the Procol premium peel away foot mask retails for $8.99 and this can be purchased directly from the Procol website and also Amazon on the packaging it mentions that this is an easy to use exfoliating foot treatment for callous, dry and coarse feet. It helps dead skin peel away in four to seven days with visibly smooth feet within two weeks. And this is a single use treatment that takes 60 to 90 minutes to do. Now I again purposely neglected my feet just so I can see how good it worked on my dry feet. So I did have quite a lot of hard skin and just a blister from the summer inside you will receive a pair of plastic booties with a fabric lining and in the fabric lining is the foot peeling solution these are quite saturated and also you do need to chop the top off so you can fit them onto your feet. They are quite short compared to the moisturising foot packs that I've spoken about before. So I do recommend that you wear socks with these if you are going to walk around and things like that because you do have to leave them on for 60 to 90 minutes, which is quite a long time. I also recommend you do this of an evening or if you've got a good amount of spare time to let these sink into the feet. They are compared to the Panam ones, the same kind of plastic. It's quite a hard, rigid plastic, I guess, just to protect the feet while the solution is penetrating into the skin. I decided to leave these on for the maximum amount of time which was 90 minutes. After the time was up, when I took the socks off, I did notice just at the tip of the toe because the plastic was quite hard and rigid that it had leaked a little bit. So definitely wear socks just to keep the liquid contained and not leaking everywhere if you are walking around. Additionally, after you've taken off the booties, it recommends to rinse off the remaining solution with water. So I just took a bowl of lukewarm water and a flannel and just wiped all of my feet down and then dried them off. 
Now the initial peeling didn't start till around day six and seven and my first thoughts were that it wasn't actually working because I just wasn't seeing any difference. Then the peeling really started to take effect, especially on the soles of my feet. They became really flaky. I will say just be warned that this does flake everywhere, especially if you're wearing socks. So just remember that when you're taking your socks off at night, you might see a bit of a flaky mess inside your sock. On the back of the packaging, it mentions that the calluses start peeling off in four to seven days and nearly all the calluses will be removed in a further three to five days, depending on their thickness. I would say I did have quite hard skin around my heels and this took the longest to peel away. Also around week two is when I started to see the top of my feet peel. This came after the soles. So the soles started peeling vigorously first and then the tops of my feet were actually less messy just because there's not any callus on the top of my feet, but it did just peel away every time I got out the shower. Someone did recommend to me that you're supposed to soak your feet, I think every week. This is a good thing to do maybe if you just run a bowl of water and just put them in to soak for half an hour while you're watching the TV. I think this would help the hard skin come off a little bit quicker. Now I I know what you guys are thinking, did I like this better than the previous one? And yes, I definitely did. It still took a while for my feet to peel fully and to get all the hard skin off. But this was much more efficient and my feet now look so much better. You can definitely see a visible difference. They feel softer as well. I just have, now it's over a month later, I just have a bit of hard skin on my heels that's really taking its time to come off. So I think I'm gonna put them into soak and just try and get that off. But I was really impressed with this overall. I would definitely do this again. I think this is a treatment to do maybe once a year in January if you want your feet to be nice and soft and smooth for the summer months, just so you give it a good amount of time to work. So I hope you found this helpful, guys. Thank goodness we had a success with a foot peeling treatment. I will pop all the details about this down below if you fancy going to check this out. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any other foot peeling masks or this one. I'd love to know your suggestions about different ones that I could try out. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye!